Hi, welcome to my new video in my new studio. Today I want to make a beautiful bouquet for a friend of mine and I'm going to show you how I decide what I need for my bouquet, what I want to use and how I create the whole bouquet. So this is my new studio. There's a lot of space I can work with. I have here a lot of finished bouquets already and I'm going to start with taking apart some of the bouquets and spreading them on the table and then we can choose which colors we want to use also the style and the size so let's start with that so we already got some bunny tail grasses these are from another video where i showed how to color bunny tail grass and then i'm gonna choose some bouquets to dissect I think these ones will be too small for the bouquet, so I'm going to leave them and take some other bouquets. So I think for now we have enough to work with. So I need to decide on the color. And my friend sent me a picture of her living room. So I think I want to stay a bit more with the natural colors and pick like one or maybe two accent colors so it doesn't look too boring. And also because she's using the bouquet indoors, I don't recommend to use a lot of pampas grass because it will shed again and again. And these natural grasses, they don't shed as much. So I think they may be a better choice. I always like to start with the biggest pieces first. So I'm going to choose kind of my base. And I think I want to use some of those. But I also want to add some color, so I'm going to choose some colored pampas grass. So I think I'm going to go with kind of a rose color and a bit more of a peachy color. And now I'll just try how I want to arrange them. So like if you have two of those fluffy natural grasses, you can make like one big bundle, but it will be shorter. Or you can also put one higher and one lower and you will have like a really big piece of pampas grass. And then you can just start to add around the accent colors. So this one is really long, so maybe we want to put it in the middle. So I just arranged them a bit according to their height. And this way I got like a really big piece of fluffy pampas grass out of those five smaller ones. So you can always try and sort them by their height and try to make them into one big fluff because I think it looks really cohesive and you can easily continue to work from that. And if it's hard to hold them like that and you don't want them to lose their place, you can just use a little bit of tape and tape it around the stems. It won't really stick to the stems, it sticks more to itself, but it keeps them in place. So I actually only have this one. The clear one is a lot better, so I would recommend using the clear tape. And when you have added more flowers, you can always just take it off and replace it with another tape. So we got our base, now we gotta choose the smaller parts. We have a lot of like similar colors. We can also go in like a really different direction and add a completely different color. Sometimes that looks really great. So I always like to try just different colors and see how they look. So 
so I think I'm going to mostly stick to the color theme but I want to add some yellow just because it makes it a bit more friendly and I think it fits better to spring and summer I dyed nearly all of the plants myself so if you want to learn how to color the right plants I have a lot of videos about this so I think this looks really cute and I also put one of the stems higher and the other one lower just so it gives the illusion of like a bigger piece and I think I'm going to add another yellow accent and I'm going to place them with the really long pampas grass so later you will only see like the top part and here I will put more dried plants what I like to do to make sure that the bouquet looks like I know what I'm doing which I don't really by the way I like to keep the same plants in kind of a bundle and I don't like to spread them around over the whole bouquet. Sometimes that works really great but for me a lot of the times it looks just kind of messy. So for now I was working like that and it always turned out fine. But maybe in the future I've got more of a plan and I'm going to change the way I make bouquets. We will see. So now we got a bit of the yellow in there. Now I'm going to add more of the natural and pink colors. Like these are small natural pampas grass. And I think they are a perfect mix of the natural pampas grass and the yellow accent color. Because they are a bit golden. And I'm just going to put them in front of the big yellow grass. I always turn the bouquet and look at all of the sides where I want to add something. So on this side it's not very colorful, so I'm thinking about adding something here, but maybe not in front of the pampas grass, but rather like behind this pink one. I always need to stop myself so it doesn't get too colorful again. But I'm going to add some of the golden natural grass. And I think I like that there's one side that's more colorful and the other one is a bit more reduced and like more natural so now i want to add some more of the pink colors there are horses walking by the building i don't know if you can hear it so i have another video where i talk about where i got all the plants and flowers from and how i treated them so if you're curious about that i will link it in the description below so I don't always just add pieces around the bouquet. Sometimes I just feel like there's something missing and I just loosen my grip a bit. So it can just go in between the other plants so I can add something in the middle too. And I did that but I don't really like it so I'm <laughs> going to take it out again. And every time I add something, I put it a little bit more to the bottom than the ones before. So it gets kind of this like really big fluffy shape. And really always just try it out, put them somewhere, see how it looks. It's really something you want to play around with and it's a lot of fun. So I really recommend if you want a dried flower bouquet, just try it out yourself. You will be surprised with how much fun it is and how easy it is to make a nice looking bouquet. So I think I'm really happy with it all the way around. And now comes the last part and that is to add some accents in form of like really colorful. These are poppy pots or dried flowers. So I'm going to tape this base together again and make a bit of space and then we can add the accents. So we have our base here and I collected some different flowers, bunny tail grasses and some other plants. So because I chose like natural colors, yellow and a bit of pink, I can either stick to this color scheme and just choose colors that really fit or I can go in a whole other direction and just add like purple or blue to the bouquet but I think for this one I want to mostly stick to the color scheme and I have a lot of those colors here 
from like a really vibrant yellow to more of an orangey yellow and I think this already looks really good. So let's start with these yellow ones. I already made them into a bundle because they're from another video where I colored the ponytail grass. So I think they would look really great here. So I will try to get them in between the other plants. So I think on this side there is something missing. So I'm just going to have a look and see what looks nice there. I mean, I really like that, but I'm not so sure about my friend. Like maybe, maybe I'm going to use those. I think they fit the color, but they're also a bit brighter than the rest. So I think I'm going to stick them in between here. And I'm also going to add the second one. I always like to keep them in pairs. I don't know, maybe one gets lonely. So now on this side, I think I want to add something. Again, I'm going to try to fit them in between there. So that's what it looks like right now. I don't think it's too colorful. I think it's just enough. So we could stop now. It looks really great already, but I want to see if there's like like one special accent I can use. Like I think these actually look really nice. Now I like this side more than the other. So maybe I need to add something here, but then we're finished. Maybe just these like really light cloves or cloths, I don't know. Yes, I think I really like that. So I'm really happy with this one. Again, I'm going to use some tape. The only thing left to do is to finish it up. I like to use a nice ribbon or something. I only have this kind of ribbon here right now. It really fits the natural plant, so I don't think it's that bad. So I'm going to cut the bigger piece because I want to be able to wrap it around a few times. So I will start at the top and I part the ribbon in like a smaller piece and a longer one. And then I put the smaller piece down here and then I start wrapping the longer part of the ribbon around it and when you covered all of the tape or you're happy with the size it is you can just make a knot down there I'm going to keep it like that for now because maybe I'm going to change it I'm not sure yet the only thing left to do now is cutting the stems to the length you need but because I don't know what kind of vase she's going to use I'm just going to cut them to like a really long size and I can always cut them shorter later so that's the finished bouquet I hope you liked the video and I could show you how I make my bouquets if you liked it maybe click the like button and also I'd love to have you as a subscriber but now we're going to jump to the apartment of my friend and let's see how it turned out in the end. <laughs>